to write geo applications in python we need to install python gtk glade and all remaining necessary packages first of all i am going to test whether python is installed in my system or not already i, I didn't install python so if i type python it is is not recognized as internal or external command means python is not installed or python path didn't sit in system path so first of all we need to install python search for python in google and go to python.org website in this website if you go to download sections there will be two versions of downloads python 3.4.3 and python 2.7.9 i always choose uh, python 3.4 version compared to python 2.7 i will prefer 3.4 it is your wish so download python 3.4 downloading so go to the download section run the installation by simply double clicking on that file run and i select install for all users and by default python will install in c drive so no need to change and here you can see what all packages are going to install along with this inst python installation pip here you can set python add python.exe to the path so if you select this option you no need to set python location in system path it will automatically set at the time of installation so i selected that one so now c drive python 3.4 folder will be added to the system path click on next if it asks for user account control permissions uh, simply click on continue python installing there may be a package issues between python version 2 and python version 3 means some packages work in python version 2 some packages work in python version 3 but my suggestion is go for python version 3 you can see it installing packages pip and setup tools so we no need to install them separately So python installation finished I think uh, python all automatically set the path and it is asking restart your system while installing python we selected set the path automatically so the path may be set in system look path variable to take effect we need to restart the system it is not necessary but some operating systems for me for my case it is vista so i need to restart the system i restarted i restarted my system so i am going to check open command prompt and type python
so it is showing python 3.4.3 and python installed successfully now i type pip so pip all also added to the path we can check in system variables whether you can check the path information system variables environmental variable and uh, under here path if you observe c python 34 and c python that scripts folders are already added to the path so python installation is completed and it is working properly in step we need to install gtk glade and the remaining packages to work with gui development in python so search for gtk in google and go to gtk.org website we can develop geo applications in python by using gtk and qt and uh, tinker packages but there is license issues in qt and tinker is not that much advanced to develop geo applications so i go for gtk gtk we can develop complex and very advanced applications with gtk in, in python so in this gtk.org website so gtk is free software part of gnu project and the licensing terms for gtk allow it to be used by all developers including those developing the commercial softwares without any license fees or royalties so you can observe this term it it means we can develop commercial softwares by using gtk so here in this space go to wide range of languages and here you can see all languages supported by gtk click on python you directly search by g object in google and you can come to this location web location or you can you go to gtk.org site and you can come here here under download sections you need to choose windows installer with gtk3 support this py object for gtk py gi includes all packages we need to develop gi applications it will include gtk and it will support all these versions of python python 2.7 3.4 and 3.3 and it will include tools like glade so to develop geo applications we need to have gtk glade so it will include those two so th this is all in one package so do download that package around 200 mb download is completed so go to the download section or go to the download folder and double click on the package application what we downloaded now pygi aivo so 
clicking for permission click allow I install not an antivirus and it is showing some warnings so uh, I am selecting run this program anyway so PyGI yeah, uh, setup window is open click on ok it is showing asking for required space need to be 1.5 GB and minimum OS Windows XP so I selected ok starting completed and it will show this window do you have portable python installation you could add its path now so we already installed python we set it path in system path variable so i hope it will automatically select so i'm going to select no So it is showing the python installation location what we installed previously so i'm going to select that one and click on ok i'm going to select all the packages which involved in gtk development so this one your wish you can select all packages are only necessary by gtk so i'm going to select this one g streamer module for video conference conferencing that is not necessary but i, I selected that one so i'm going to select gdk pixbuff docking features for gtk gdl and gtk ui convince library for gegl this one and canvas widget open gl extension to gtk gtk unicode character map gtk source view and gtk unicode character map json library for glib the rest web content engine for gtk plus you can select all these tools are only necessary tools so selected the required one click on next so it is asking for non-genome libraries to install previous window is for genome libraries and now it is asking for non-genome libraries i'm selecting gtk spell 3 spell checking add-on for gtk test view and gtk data box gtk wrapper for the editing component some editing component and gtk widget for chinese lunar data it is your wish you can select or not based on your preferred language so i hope we selected all and click on next and here i'm going to select gir glade api browser with all command command documentation dev help and additional tools gedit g translator gdf frontend gdb all this not necessary but 
your wish you can install you need to select this glade gcc development files uh, i'm not going to select that one click on next so ready to install make sure previous versions uninstalled so i didn't install any version previously so i am ready to install click on next it is installing installation completed okay and next we need to test whether gtk is installed properly or not here we can observe all the packages installed along with pygi laid so now click on pygi object website here under documentation section go for the python gtk3 tutorial section and this is the only document you required or this is necessary document to develop gtk applications in python so if you go through entire this entire document you get enough knowledge to develop complex applications or so i am copying the line in simple example first line so open command prompt type python copy the line and paste in a command prompt the line mentions import gtk means if you install gtk properly it will execute and successfully without any errors so it look like gtk imported so gtk installation is completed now you can develop geo applications with gtk in python so in this tutorial we are going to develop a simple application thanks for watching